Ed Cardinal, and welcome to my Thursday evening Facebook Live. Last week I discussed the digestive system, and tonight I wanted to add a component to that that can help improve the health of your digestive system, and that's incorporating cleansing diets, or, um, fasting, some people call fasting cleansing diets. Unfortunately, we live in a, in a world that is full of toxins, environmental toxins. The air that we breathe, the water that we drink, even if you're on a, a town or a municipal water system, you might be very surprised to know that there's, uh, there's chemicals that they add, in particular chlorine, some even add fluoride, which is not good for you. Uh, so one thing that we've done is incorporating a, uh, adding a filtration system. We had a whole house filtration system in our last home. And here we've added a filtration system that, uh, to, the, to our showers and also to our, our drinking water. So that's, that's an important piece to, to add if you, if you can. Also the food that we eat, pesticides, GMOs, um, unless you're eating locally grown organic food, which we support our local organic farmers. We go to farmers markets. Um, so that's one way to eliminate some of, some of those toxins. But it's inevitable. You're going you're gonna to come across uh, toxins in your daily life. And so incorporating and adding some sort of a cleansing diet is I think a great great idea it's been it's something I've been doing for many many years and one of the resources I used was a book that I came across called the seasonal detox diet a great resource to kind of walk you through this walk you through the steps some of the consequences of having those being exposed to those toxins are uh, one chronic fatigue, uh, autoimmune diseases, um, skin skin disorders. These are just a few. There is a plethora of uh, health challenges that people have because of the, the buildup of toxins uh, in in their body. So, according to the Chinese and the Native American traditions, each season uh, represents a, a different organ system, and you want to cleanse those organ systems. In those seasons. So for instance, the spring is going to be the liver and the gallbladder. Summer is the heart and small intestines. Fall is the lungs and large intestines. And the winter is going to be the bladder and the, and the kidney. A lot of different cleanses out there, detox cleanses, detox diets out there. Um, some incorporate Fruits only, juices, teas, herbs, uh, or certain particular foods. There's also Ayurvedic cleanses, which I've done, uh, which incorporates food and uh, some, some detoxing tea and ghee. Uh, so as I said, I've, I've, I've done a lot of cleansing, a lot of fasting throughout my life and have received great, great benefit. How long do you, do you cleanse for? I suggest in the beginning that you start small with maybe just one day. And then each time you do it, you can add days. This is, this is what I did. I started with one day. And don't be surprised if you experience um, a cleansing response or what they call a healing response or a healing crisis because you're removing those toxins. If you have any sort of physical challenges, let's say you already have skin, skin challenges or uh, autoimmune challenges, um, you might see a flare up of the symptoms. That's what's called a healing crisis. A lot of people, what they'll do is when they experience those, they'll think it's a bad thing and they blame it on, on the cleanse. But it's actually a good thing. So if you can stay with it, uh, of course, within reason, if, it's, if your symptoms are very extreme, then 
seek medical medical help, but we're talking about low level flare ups, headaches, maybe skin eruptions, uh, maybe feeling lethargic. So again, start start slow. Uh, again, I do my cleansing seasonally and the fall as i said is going to be the lungs and the large intestine so tonight i want to talk a little bit more about <clears throat> the colon and cleansing the digestive system so when you're doing a, a cleanse and you're not eating as much you're actually giving your digestive system time to rest and restore and that's important so what you might experience on the beneficial side, because of that, is you're, you're giving your digestive system time to restore and rest. That energy is going to be focused on other areas of the body to, to heal and to detoxify. So you might feel more concentration, higher level of concentration. Uh, you might also feel uh, more energy uh, in your body. And also... Um, you know, you, you, one of the other things that I want to add to is during cleansing or fasting, I, I do a lot of exercising. You want to keep that to a minimal. So walking, uh, a gentle yoga practice um, would be helpful also. So, so other benefits of, of cleansing. So it prevents constipation, uh, improves digestion, as I said, it increases the, your energy and concentration, helps weight loss, and lastly, encourages whole body detoxification. Hope this was helpful. If it was, please comment below and share one thing that you learned from tonight's talk and share that in the comments below. Until you see me next Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my Facebook Live, uh, be well. And also check out my daily inspirational messages, my reels. And look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great evening, great weekend, and great week. Until I see you again, take care. Bye-bye.